also would like to be the first to welcome you to San Juan, Puerto Rico. <laughs> Para que sepan, la primera vez que yo me embojaché fue con esta cabrona en las calles de Mayagüe. Estamos por acá. 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 So boom, boom, like that's how stressed I am. I can't even get my words out, but I had to book a last minute flight to Puerto Rico because my whole family is there. The tickets was literally almost a thousand dollars and I'm only going to be there till Saturday, but let this be the beginning of my Puerto Rico vlog. Um, yeah, my closet is a mess. I don't have any new clothes, so I'm trying to put outfits together of shit that I already have. And I just hate doing that so bad, so bad. I'm just now unpacking from New York to just pack another bag because clearly I'm not taking beanies. So I'm just going to pick this all up because I know they're bald. Do y'all think I'm stupid if I wear a sweatsuit to the airport? Because I'm going to Puerto Rico. Because it's still be a little chilly. And I'm getting there at night. I'm worried so, so. These little sandals be coming in clutch with every outfit because they clear. I just put a load to wash. So after that one's done, I'm going to put the next one. When I went to New York, I literally... Where's mine? I literally packed just random shit. I wasn't even supposed to go to New York at that. I was going to Atlanta. Then it was just a mess. A whole month. I spent half a month in Atlanta and the other half in New York. I'm trying to decide if I want to take this one or this one. They're going to charge me the same shit, so it's like I might as well take the bigger one right around. I'd rather overpack than underpack. Overpack, underpack. Yeah, we're going with this one. God's kids tend to remember the wrong things. Forgetting his faithfulness and focus on things. That's really the big scheme of things don't matter much. And this this scripture in Deuteronomy chapter 9 verse 1 is to me very bittersweet. Because you have the man of God, Moses, who of course has led them this far. And he's preparing them to go into a land that God has promised them. But he's not going with them. Two things I want you to notice from Deuteronomy 9 verse 1. Put it on the screen, please. Here, Israel, you are now about to cross the Jordan. In some ways, that's exciting. You are now about to cross the Jordan. But there's something about this that's very sad to me. The word you and the word now. See, when he says you, he's not saying we. Because he can't go. Because he had the opportunity to go. But he didn't have the faith to go. Because he had the chance to step into it. But he didn't believe God enough to step into it. You are going. He's, he's telling the next generation, you're going into this land that God promised. You're going into this land that's flowing with milk and honey. You're about to see God do amazing things. You're about to finish miracle after miracle. You're about to settle into something that God spoke centuries before you were even born. You're about to go into the land now. See, that word is said to me too is, is the word now because they could have been in the land 40 years earlier. Isn't it a terrible thing to get to a place in your life where you say, you know, I had the chance to do that. I had the, I had the opportunity to do that. I, I remember talking to a man who fell into deep sexual sin. He said, I remember the moment that God spoke the word to me and I was standing right on the edge and God was trying to snatch me from it, but I stepped into it anyway. It was 12 years later, after wrecking much of his life and family, that he stood in the place of the breath, realized 
Tired ain't even the word. I only got like three hours of sleep. I have so much to do right now. I'm about to print out these labels for my store because people have still been buying. I don't promote on there, but people still make purchases. This is my old laptop, so ignore all this. I'm about to put a little oil on my scalp because my shit is so dry. Now we at Ulta because I need some setting powder. Yeah, had to grab that. La bichota Puerto Rico. They do it all cute. They done gave me waffle fries. Get them, mama. Abre, abre. Tío, me la llevo, abuela. ¿Cuál es, cuál es, cuál es, cuál es? Dile a tío que coja mis maletas. <risa> That's my twin friend. Ok, mamá, Dios te bendiga. Thank you. We get to move outside because it's too cold. My cool ass uncle. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I was just kidding. <laughs> Ahora sí te voy a poner. Is that what we ordered? I thought it had meat, what we ordered. That's the like other thing. Uh, you that. thought it had meat? Yeah, yeah, yeah I like meat. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Theo. I like meat too. Bacalao, queso frito, papa frita. It actually smells like That's what it smells like. Just a thing. Yeah, what else is there? Yeah, 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 <laughs> Y'all so old. Stop. 
que pagaste. Pagaste. Sí, pagué. <laughs> How much was it, tío? You don't want to know. You don't want to know. For real? Yeah. Tell me. For what? Oh, so I can pay something. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like everybody's taller than me. I, I'm <laughs> taller than you. I'm yeah, look at this. Too. Yeah. Tell me. I'm 21. She starts hating. Where's my dog? Oh. I got it. Why did you get out the bag, bad girl? Big girl. Bad boy. He's calling you a boy. Action! <laughs> Y'all, he's looking for a girlfriend. He's in the army. He lives in South Carolina. How old are you? He got tattoos. ¿Cuánto año tiene? Miéntale, miéntale, miéntale. 52. 52. Yeah. Yeah, what's up? If you want a military man who will buy you everything and take you everywhere, he is the one. I am the one. <laughs> I have to stop to get some pinchos because I haven't had one in a little minute. Look how pretty he is. This is right by my grandma's house. Good mojitos. Llegamos a Boquerón. About to get some sun whenever the sun come out. But it was just hot as shit outside. And it's Princess's first time at the beach. Princesa! Look at my baby! Mira que bello! Hello, mi amor. What's up, man? <laughs> <laughs> and mommy, la mommy songy. La mommy songy. No, boy, la boy, la mapa trama que nadie. Ay, mamá. Ay, mamacita. Yay! Pa dentro, pa dentro. Ajá, metete más pa que nadie. You got it, mama. Princess, look at me, look at her, y'all. Princess, look at me. You being a good girl, princess. Come here, let me get the sand off of you. Look at this. Look at this shit. Want us to keep the dog over. Oh no, you're good. They can play. Yeah, we don't mind. Look, princess playing, y'all. Yeah. She not fucking with it no more. Look at her. Wait, us. No more. Mami allá adentro como si no hace frío y no está lloviendo. Y lo fuimos puñeta. Mamá, mami. Me puse tenis porque está con Nova hoy. Para que sepan, la primera vez que yo me embojaché fue con esta cabrona en las calles de Mayagüez. Esta me trajo otro fucking trago. Es cuando pone cara de bellaca. Estamos por acá. ¡Bicha! Shut up. Mira esto, mira esto. Bukiti. Toma, toma. Sigue aquí, sigue aquí, sigue aquí. Ay, Dios. 
better get copyright. Sí, con el Phyllis King una Pepsi y el Pepsi. Esto es lo único que es esto. Qué cosa más hueco, dame. Ah, no. Ajá, chupa, chupa. Y dice bebé, y dice la u. Ay, qué cocha bella. Ribs, canesada o churrasco, and chicken. Oh, mira, mira, mira. Wow. I miss that. Great. Sorry about that. Start over. <laughs> Todo el mundo dile bye a my vlog. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. Ellos están comiendo. Bye. Stacy, we love you. I love you. Bye, Titi. Bye, tío. Adiós, Titi. Dile bye a my vlog. No me voy. Dile bye a my vlog. Muah. Beso. Bueno, me voy yo. Te amo, te amo. Quiero comprar un suéter de Puerto Rico. Vamos a ver si encuentro uno por ahí. La última vez me compré uno y voló en canto. No veo suéter, no veo suéter. Vente, princesa. Solamente el zip up. Ah, este es el que yo tenía aquí. ¿Qué dice San Juan? Cojo uno azul, voy a coger uno negro. Mejor. San Juan, Puerto Rico. 40 pesos, no está mal. Buena. Este y este ya quesito. Con 100. Gracias, amor. Voy a echar eso ahí también. ¿También? Muchas gracias. No Buen día. Once again, back home.